7, I've heard your calls. Everyone's online saying, please let David do the weather. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, this is kind of cool. Yeah? So I can guess there's some rain going on around here. A little bit down there near with the base. And then also right. over here, too. That's Good. the green stuff. He's a here. natural. Look yeah, at that. awesome. Green, <laughs> green means rain. Green, yeah, I know uh, exactly. I need to just kind of step away for everybody, right? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I've never done this. Well, as you can see in Vernal, they're going to get a few rain showers over here. And, uh, yeah, the rest of the place looks pretty good, except for over here. <laughs> I am down here, but, you know, rain's a good thing, I guess, and this is not getting wet. But other than that, yeah, I'm just going to stay inside now and shoot it. Nice right. work. Hey, by the way, I said, yeah, come over and stand by me, and he started singing, I'll stand by you. It sounded great. He just, uh, right off the cuff there. Here's a look at the moisture coming up from the south. Hopefully that made everybody happy. I don't Two hours until. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, we're done with you. See ya. Uh, it was fun. Yeah. It was fun, fun being here. Fun while it lasted. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Our, so many people have been waiting for this. We have David Archuleta here in studio. Of course, tonight's the Big American Idol tour, but right now, yeah, he's here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. 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 No other introduction. Utah's favorite yeah. IA. <laughs> Runner up right here, sitting next to us. I can't believe you came back after we grilled you for an hour and uh, 15 minutes. Well, that was minutes. fun. That was fun having you on here. It was well, a good day. Though. We obviously didn't finish all of our line of questioning because we needed you back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So how are things going for you? A lot of people are kind of curious about what deal you got and what you're doing right now and if oh. you're going to be making records quickly. Well, we're going to be trying. Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. We've been working on the album, you know, these past few weeks and going to continue working on it. It's been really fun and exciting. So. Okay, in fact, that leads to our first question. Um, Michael wants to know how many songs have you already recorded for your album? I'm not sure. I mean, you know, that whole process, you know, it's not... People you just record, sing. You people, just sing, huh? Yeah, well, I try to do some... I'm trying to do some songwriting stuff, too. And, you know, also, you know, a lot of meetings. And <laughs> so, I guess it's not just singing. There's a lot of work that goes into making an album. Uh, but, you know, uh, you, you can record a, like a hundred songs and only use a certain amount. You might not even use any of those because, you know, you're just looking for the right songs really okay. that will so you narrow work it down together at and the stuff. end and kind of, yeah. okay. Like, so I'm not sure how many songs I've recorded that are going on the album yet, but I've, I've already, I've done a bit of recording. Well, what is your schedule like right now? Because remember, when we had you on before, I mean, it was just a whirlwind tour. I mean, you barely had enough hours to sleep at night. <laughs> Has it calmed down a little bit since? Um, you know, the tour is a lot more laid back because you're not competing against each other and being, you know, judged after every performance and trying to learn a song in like three days and <laughs> all of that fun stuff. But it's, it's so much fun. I mean, this tour has been great and just... Everyone's just been really having a good time, and it's a great show. I mean, are you, are you all so on a big tour bus riding together? Or do you fly to each well, location? Do you bunk up and share rooms at the hotel? <laughs> well, well there, there's a guy bus and a girl bus. Okay. Really? Yeah. So I'm on the guy bus, and uh -huh. we, there, that gets pretty crowded. <laughs> That's a bummer. <laughs> no, it's good. I mean, everyone. It's not like a like it's not like a tornado hit or anything. It's actually yeah. pretty good. Well, wait. So the guy my, bus is messier or what? <laughs> Well, actually, one time we had to um, all ride on the girls' bus together, and they had like lit candles, and it was all <laughs> and oh my smelling, yeah. and it was kind of funny. But yeah. see, that's why I like the girl bus, <laughs> girls bus better, just because the potpourri. Sure. Okay, let's get to another question from Kathy in Taylorsville. You had a chance to drive your new Ford Hybrid yet? I haven't. I mean, you haven't there's. It. Well, I've been so busy. Just you know, we're on tour, so. Uh, kind of just always on the bus or at a venue and singing and doing all that fun stuff. <laughs> so I haven't had time yet, but you know, I'm anxious to, I guess. But... Oh, good. That means there are no dents in it yet. Right? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. <laughs> All right, here's another question. Um, now that you're famous, this is from Brian. Now that you're famous, do you sometimes wish you could go back to your regular life in Murray? Do you ever wish to? Um, be... Well, I guess, you know, when I went, we were able to go back home for a for a little bit after all our New York press stuff. So that was really nice. And, um, you know, it was exciting to see everyone, but after people realized I'm so David and I haven't really changed much, <laughs> it just, I guess, everyone knows me now. But but with my friends and stuff, I, after they got the hang of it, he's just, he's still David, he's still cool, and things are, haven't really changed much with him. It was, it was pretty laid back, and it's like nothing really did change. So oh, it was kind good. of fun, yeah. Okay, James from Ontario, Canada, and you know, we, you know, we, 
put this on the web so people from all over the world can you see this. You have fans all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, well, I'd like to, hopefully I'll be doing music still, doing what I love to do still, and only like more experienced and um, understanding what I want to do more with myself in life and see myself as an artist more defined. I just, just a more defined version of me, I guess, more experienced, more mature. But I still want to be doing music, so hopefully that's what I'll be doing. If it's not, hopefully I'll be doing like school or something. Okay. Well, we're going to get to a, someone locally that wrote in, but I want to do this one real quick. It's Amy. She's from California, and she wants to know what's been the craziest fan encounter that you've had during the American Idol's live tour uh, so during far, tour. during the tour. Uh, you want to jump up on stage? Hmm. or Not really. I mean, like... Our last show in Washington, someone just threw teddy bears. I don't know, and they're throwing like a bunch of wristband little things. But I don't know about crazy encounters like that. I mean, people have been pretty good on the tour. Uh, you know, people ask, like, someone asked me to sign their stomach. That was kind of, I didn't do it. But that was, that was kind of weird. Well, how'd you get out of that? We're just, no. Well, I just kept moving all, along the line. There's so, you know, after the yeah. shows, there's so many people. They're just kind of like, <laughs> you know, all of us are just kind of like, your arms kind of getting a little <laughs> sore. But it's it's fun to see everyone after the show and just to see everyone supporting and seeing that they had a good time at the show. Okay, here here's one from Kira Perry and Logan. What's your favorite and least favorite thing about your newfound fame? Um, well, my favorite thing is that I get to sing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, before I didn't get to do this as much as I am now, and I wouldn't be touring, and I think that's really cool. I mean, <laughs> now I get to work on an album and do all the things I've always dreamed about doing it, but never thought I would actually get the chance to, but the least favorite thing, uh, I don't know, I kind of like... So there's no downside? Well I, guess, well, I guess, you know, like the weird press things that people really get into, but... Like, well, like my dad. That that whole thing was pretty oh, okay. weird, or okay. like weird rumors that start. The tabloid stuff. Yeah. The rumors. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's you know what? We're going to talk about that later. We'll clear that up. We must clear that up. We're going to get cool. into it. Yeah. Yeah. Your yeah. <laughs> dad's actually volunteered, I think, to yeah. come up here. So. No, I don't think so. But uh, yeah, saying, we're also going to hear from you sing a couple of times this morning. Yeah. Thank yeah, you so, so much for coming in. It really is fun to have you here. Oh, so. thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be singing some songs with you during the auditions. Awesome. Yeah, great. Can't wait to hear it. Okay. Thanks, yeah. David. All More right. of David, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> we'll be back. Time is 7.38. The American Idols here in Salt Lake City for tonight's big idol tour. And David Archuleta is warming up in studio to perform live for us next. Stay with us. Okay, it's finally here. You know, a lot of folks have been waiting actually for months for this day for David Archuleta <laughs> to return home because he's going to be performing finally in front of your hometown fans. Yeah, but before he takes the stage at the East Center, David and his father are here to talk to us about the wild ride that it's been. We talked to David a little bit earlier. Jeff, thanks for coming in also with him. You know, a lot of things have been said. You know, so much <laughs> of it has been a little bit on the tabloid side. You know, with, I guess, some tabloids saying that you're this typical stage father, you know, really driving <laughs> this whole good. thing. Has that been painful for you guys? You know, at first it was just kind of weird because it's like, where, where's the stuff coming from? Because it's like, it's, it's just not, this isn't really true. And so once we understood and people kind of educated us about how tabloids do things, and when they, they said, you know, it's because David's such a good kid, they can't dig up any dirt on him, so be prepared <laughs> and they're going to say weird things. and. Yeah, so it was it was weird, but we just kind of realized that you, it's just part of this business, I guess. You just have to kind of deal with it. Yeah, and one of those rumors that went around was that um, after forgetting the lyrics to a performance, that your father was angry, made you cry, <laughs> and then I even read, wouldn't give you water. What, what was yeah, that? I, was, I thought that was kind of weird, too, yeah. I mean... Did you get water that I mean, night? <laughs> I got plenty of water. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So yeah. were those things hurtful? I mean, none of that was true then. You're saying none of that happened. Yeah, well, I didn't really pay much atten attention to it just because I thought, okay, whatever. I'm just going to keep on doing my own thing. But I didn't realize how much it exploded and how into it people got. And, like, it's like people were asking me about it. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, kind of random. I'm like, this is still going on. And it, it like, was the thing that everyone was asking me about. It's like, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
I didn't realize how popular my dad was here. But well, it some was... of it was a little bit about you as well. I mean, one said that you were, you know, not this down to earth guy, and that, you know, oh. it's all just a <laughs> stage thing, and that, you know, you're oh. actually kind of uppity. Well, now, I, you heard about that during the performances, right? I I didn't see. I heard about that a little bit until my the dad stories blew up. So I guess everyone kind of dropped all the other rumors because they got so into the other ones about my dad. So that was kind of funny, but you know, he's a good guy. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, and what do you want to say about that now? Because obviously at the time Fox said, sorry, you, we don't want you to respond, right? Was that yeah. frustrating? Yeah. Well, I mean, really the only thing to say is, I mean, it was a learning experience, I guess, to realize how other people that you hear stories about in the tabloids to, to realize that you got to really give them the benefit of the doubt because again there wasn't one true story not one and so that was the frustrating part is just thinking oh, you know I, I feel bad that some people are gonna change how they look at David because they may think that he's not just the good kid he is and they're gonna think that you know he's like this repressed got these things within because his you know I've been so evil and mean and everything it's like it was just kind of weird, but at this point, it's all kind of just yeah. blown it's over. It's kind of dying down. So. Well, we'll yeah, let it now go. we're just having fun. Yeah. yeah. Now, it, 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 good plan. Speaking of that, <laughs> I mean, it's been kind of a busy schedule for you, though. I mean, has it been hard having David away from the family and you know cruising around the United States? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's been hard because you know it's, well, it's like your family, you're close to them, and it's you kind of miss your siblings. But you know, it's I think that's just something that comes with this whole thing. You know, it, it takes a lot of traveling and working away from home but you know I think it's worth it just you know I get to still see my family every now and then I mean I saw my mom and sister last night they came to say oh. hi when I got home uh -huh. so that was fun give you a big hug I suppose probably Some yeah. More of this. yeah all right and um, what about your future you you guys been kind of addressing what happens to you now and have you guys thought at all about hey maybe we want to pick up and move to LA or somewhere closer to where David's gonna be recording or how do you deal with all of that and the decision making well as far as that goes, we've, we've been fortunate that it appears that we really don't need to move. We can pr pretty much do everything, you know, it means we may have to be on the road a lot, but the nice thing is everyone has just been so supportive of our family, trying to make sure that they do things the right way. Nothing's been weird like a lot of people would think would happen in the entertainment business where they're trying to, you know, change David to be someone that he isn't. and you know, put all this pressure on them. I mean, they've been very, very supportive from the very beginning of the show all the way through. Okay, so. we're, we're going to let you go in just a second here, David, so you can get ready to perform. But we want to ask you this question from Maria in San Diego. On the tour, she says, who would you say you've become closest with during the tour? Hmm. I've become, I mean, we're all really close. It's kind of like a family. You know, it's kind of like saying, who's your favorite brother or sister, you know? Uh -huh. Kind of the same thing, I guess. But, uh, you know, I've... I've hung out a lot with like Jason and Christy Lee and yeah, it, Carly, I, I, all of them really. I mean, we're all just one big happy family, I guess. You know. <laughs> That's good. So you're enjoying it. You're having fun on this yeah, tour. Yeah, a lot yeah. of fun. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We're gonna send you over and let you get ready for the song. We'll talk to your dad for a second, right. and then we'll let you all perform. Right, cool. Okay. All righty. Thanks. Yeah. So now he's gonna be performing something from the archives here. Something that uh, a lot yes. of people haven't seen. Well, what, what's really exciting is. When, when he was on, when he was in Hollywood Week, the judges were really excited about one of his performances mm -hmm. that they couldn't get cleared. And the good news is, I guess after the show, um, Jason Castro gets to sing it on, on the show. I hope I'm allowed to say that. You are. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's okay. Sure. <laughs> but um, it's something that, I mean, we got bombarded with messages and just people saying, oh, I want to hear David's rendition. Yeah. And so this is this is kind of like the, the hidden song that no one ever got to hear. Now he has a chance to just, just, you know, it's just more for fun and let people know what his rendition sounds like. Well, how exciting. The hidden song that nobody got to hear. We, we are got going clearance to here hear on it Fox right 13. now this yeah. morning. So, David, take it away. I haven't done this one for a while, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. <laughs> I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so pleasant about that place. Even your emotions had an echo in so much space.
see it live for yourself tonight e center is the place to do it he's going to be performing up coming up a little bit later for us yeah he's too. sticking around so there's the information for the e center your tickets tonight and tomorrow night but stay with us we're back in a moment with more david archuleta right now i mean you're kind of like there this is like a family photo carrie you need to come over right there we go wait hold on okay how's that here we go take it <laughs> All right, guess who we have here again, you David Archuleta. It. Yeah, and we've um, had so much fun hanging out with him this morning. Thank you yeah. for stopping by oh, tonight's oh, no the problem. big American Idols live concert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been getting a preview, so kind of what's happening for the next couple Sorry months. For the piano, by the way. No, no, no. So what's what's going on? <laughs> that was good. Oh boy. <laughs> so when does the tour end? Um, it ends like mid September. Okay, so between now yeah. and then, that's what you're going to be busy doing. Yeah, and so tonight will be our tenth show here in Salt Lake, and then there's 53 in all. Are you kind of excited about playing tonight, the hometown crowd? Yeah, I'm so excited. I mean, I've been looking forward to this. I mean, hometowns are always really fun to go to, and especially, you know, your own. So it'll, it'll be exciting to go to, every, you know, these next two shows because they're home, and then also the next one's like Kansas City for Cook and oh, that's great. Dallas for uh, Jason. Uh -huh. They're just so much fun just because that home, yeah. you know, feeling is awesome. Now, when you're out on the tour, though, I mean, how much are you actually warming up, practicing that kind of thing? Or is it just like the regular rock star thing where you guys party all night and get up in time for the show? Uh, no, I, you know, I try to keep well rested. You know, sometimes a lot of us go on, like, vocal rest just because, you know, there's a lot of shows. And so you just try to keep your voice preserved and conserve it for the big stage. And speaking of that, tonight, do, since this is your hometown, do they do anything a little differently? Do you get, like, a couple uh, more solos? Or I don't think any, so. No? I think it's the same. It's the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good show. You don't bust yeah, out on a big solo or anything like that? Just take the mic and just go with it? Uh, well, then we do. Well, <laughs> we each have our own sets. So, yeah. Okay. So, you know, it's kind of like a bunch of little mini concerts or something. It's really cool. Yeah, well, that is... Carrie's going tonight. I'm going tomorrow. I am. So I'm going tonight. To see yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you're you're, 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 you're going to need binoculars, David. <laughs> okay. Um, you're, and you're going to need a tissue for the next few years. <laughs> uh, I need tissues for my allergies. Gosh. Does it bother you being back home? Well, it's uh, no, it doesn't bother. Well, no, I mean, I the allergies in my nose here. Nice, yeah. but yeah. Okay. But you know it's good. You know it's so good. happens every year. So okay. So <laughs> so new. tell us what you and Dean are going to play for us here. Well, we're going to do "Waiting on the World to Change," which is. One I uh, did, you know, it's yeah. on the sh you know first audition that people saw. So we haven't really worked this um, too much because I've been out and about, you know. Well, we have full It'll confidence in Dean. He's, so. he's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much for doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll get out of the way. Uh, you'll be All great. Right. All right. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and all my friends, we're all misunderstood. They say we stand for nothing and there's no way we ever could. Now we see everything that's going wrong with the world and those who need it. Just feel we don't have the means to rise above and be so we keep waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. We keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. Now if we have the power to keep our neighbors home from war, oh. Sorry. waiting on the world to change. Now if we have the power to keep our neighbors home from war. They would never miss a Christmas No more ribbons on their door When you trust your television What you get is what you got Cause what they own the information No, they can bend it all they want That's why we're waiting 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 on the world to change We we'll keep on waiting Yeah Waiting on the world to change not that we don't care, we just know that the fight ain't fair, so we keep waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. Yeah. Oh, we keep waiting, waiting on the world to change. We keep on waiting, waiting on the world to change. It's hard to be persistent when we're standing at a distance. So we keep waiting, oh, waiting on the world to change. We'll keep on waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change. We'll keep on waiting, yeah, waiting on the world to change. It's hard to be persistent. When we're standing at a distance, we keep waiting, waiting, waiting on the world to change.